Hey there everyone and welcome back to The Disconnected. I am going to get real personal before we get real quick into this episode and say I'm feeling beaten the hell up tonight. Just a, a fair warning, I'm glad most of this is going to be off camera tonight. Uh, bedtime tonight, my four-year-old kicked me in the lip. It's alright, i got to be honest, I deserved it. But worse than that, I am recovering from a pretty intense surgery that just happened about a week ago. And my foot is currently in a boot and I am in all of the pain. Uh, all that being said, it is time for part two of my Scream Factory collection. Tonight we are diving into the standard releases, so here we go. Made me feel alive. Now I don't even know. Alright, I'm going to start getting into my standard releases that start here with hashtag horror. As you can see, I'm actually on different shelves than the first portion of my collection video that I showed you just a week ago. I have uh, already gotten a new shelf in that time, and I figured I could save some space by getting all my Scream Factory on here. This fits all of my slipcases and standard releases. I'll show a picture of this right now. You can see it's actually rather nice and tall. Fits everything really well, looks really good, but let's get into the standard releases. First is hashtag horror. Second is the classic Nicholas Cage, 8mm. And 78.52 Hitchcock shower scene. The Abandoned, another IFC Midnight title. It's a classic one. The Abominable Snowman of the Himalayas. One that I've been meaning to watch for quite some time. This is After Midnight. This is supposed to be a great one. If you've watched that, let me know about that. Next is Alienator with Jan Michael Vincent. Alien Predators. Classic Hammer, the Alligator People. And the first Scream Factory exclusive that I have here, Amazons and the Barbarian Queen. That's a recent release. This one is The Ambulance. Got some big names on that one. Um, just a heads up on a lot of these standard releases. Here is American Gothic. But yeah, on a lot of these standard releases, I have focused on getting these last. So a lot of them are still sealed. I just haven't made a, a chance to be able to watch a lot of them yet. Here is the Angry Red Planet. This is one of my last ones I just picked up. This is Anti-Birth, IFC Midnight. I didn't know about this one. That's got a, you know, look at that cast of other. Natasha Leone, Chloe Savini, and Meg Tilly. Another side exclusive, this is Attack of the Crab Monsters. Attack of the Puppet People. This one technically hasn't even come out yet, and I already have it, The Awakening. The Axe Murders of Villisca. A nice double feature here. This is Bad Dreams and Visiting Hours. Great release. Bad Moon. Classic wolf movie. Here's one that I need to show my wife. This is Baskin. Pretty great movie. And then we have the Bat People. And last on this first shelf is Battery. Alright, sorry about that. I had to turn on the AC and lower the camera. Apologize for that. Uh, let's get into the second shelf. This is the Beast of Hollow Mountain and the Neanderthal Man. Another double feature. And we have the Beast Within. One that I believe went out of print. Next is Ben. One that I just watched recently. Gotta love Barbara Crampton. This is Beyond the Gates. Another very recent release that was a side exclusive for Scream is The Big Bust Out. And next is The Binding. And the classic double feature, Blackula and Scream Blackula Scream. I love this artwork on this one. This is Blood and Lace. Blood from the Mummy's Tomb. 
And to finish the shelf off, the absolutely wacky body parts. If you have never seen this one, you absolutely should. There is some hilarity that happens in this movie. All right, next shelf. This is Boris Karloff in The Body Snatcher. Snoop Dogg in Bones. I'm still shocked that this came out on Blu-ray. Next is Bound to Vengeance. The Boy Who Cried Werewolf. Oh, the classic, The Brain. Man, when they announced this, I was so excited. If you've never seen this, you absolutely should give it a look. There's some pretty silly effects, but it's actually a really fun 80s movie. Next is Brain Dead with Bill Pullman and Bill Paxton. Uh, this one I actually just got fairly recently. It's Brain Scan. Picked that up at Vintage Stock. And The Brain That Wouldn't Die. Next is The Bride with Sting and Jennifer Beals. And last up is Bug from William Castle. Most of these standard edition releases I actually got through Target's buy two get one free sales. So I got many of them for very cheap. This is Cabin Fever. This is a remake. And we have Caged Fury. The sequel, Candyman Farewell to the Flesh. I sure hope we get the third part in that series soon. There's another side exclusive. This is Caged Heat and Jackson County Jail double feature. Captain Kronos Vampire Hunter. This one I'd seen a few times. This is a great movie. The Car with James Brolin. And then the double feature before they did a collector's edition of Carrie. This is Carrie and the Rage Carrie 2. Another double feature, this is Cellar Dweller and Catacombs. This is a really good one if you haven't seen it. The 2000's classic Cherry Falls with the late Brittany Murphy. And the last one in the stack, I just recently got this one too. This is Chilling Visions, Five Senses of Fear. This is a five short film collection. Five Reasons to be Scared Senseless. I need to give that one some time here soon. All right, we are moving on to the next row. First up we have The Chosen. Then Circus of Horrors. Next up is Colossus the Forbin Project. This is one that actually took me a while to track down. That's why it's still sealed. I just got this one last. This is like one of my last five to get. This is Contamination Point Seven. And Contracted Phase 2, I loved the first one. I have heard not great things about this one, that's why I haven't popped this one in yet, but that first Contracted movie was great. It was a rather disturbing watch. Then Crawl Space, that's been a big one on some of the groups lately. Next up is Crucible of Horror. And the Crush with Alicia Silverstone. Just watched this one with my wife recently. Oh yeah, and Carrie Ellis. That is a, uh, it's a rough movie. And then The Curse and Curse 2, The Bite. All right, next part of the stack, we have The Curse of the Cat People. And Robert England in Dance Macabre. And Dark Angel with Dolph Lundgren. The Dark Half. The sequel, Dark Man 2, The Return of Durant. And of course, the third one, Die, Dark Man, Die with Jeff Fahey. Jeff Fahey is the man. He is always great and over the top. Next is Darkness Rising, IFC Midnight title. And we have Daughters of Satan. This is one of the last five that I picked up as well, I believe. Next up, 
the hard to find Deadly Eyes. This is a rather great movie. If you've never seen it, it is a fun one. Next up is the classic The Deadly Mantis. Then Dead of Winter. Dead Time Stories. Watched this one recently and it is it's pretty good. It's worth a watch. Nice anthology movie. Then we have Death Sport. I believe this was a site exclusive as well. And then this one I know was a site exclusive. This is Deathstalker and Deathstalker 2. This is the only site exclusive that was limited to 1,000 copies. And then they actually released another 1,000 copies of it on the website. So there were twice the opportunities to be able to pick this double feature up. All right, we just got done with one, two, three, four, number five out of six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16 of these little cubbies of the standard releases. We still have a ways to go, so let's get to the next one. First up is one that I don't see people talking about enough. This is a surprisingly great movie. This is Death Valley. Um, if you've never seen this, you should absolutely try to pick this one up. I believe it's still available for fairly inexpensive. Um, this is a great release. Give it a watch. I don't want to say too much about it. It's it's good. It's, it is surprisingly decent acting. Next up is Demented. Again, I would go into a lot more detail on these, but I am just trying to get through everything as quick as I can, since there are so many. And after Demented is Dementia. Then we have Demons of the Mind. Larry Fessenden's Depraved. Another double feature of Destroyer and Edge of Sanity. That's Anthony Perkins himself from Psycho. Then we've got The Devil Rides Out. Great artwork on that one. Love that art, old art style. Then The Devil's Candy. This was available on Hamilton Book for absolutely cheap, like $3 for the longest time. Next is The Devil's Doorway, Die Monster Die, Disturbing Behavior, the cliche early 2000s title, then The Doctor and the Devils, next is Dr. Blood's Coffin, and we have Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde, another double feature this one is The Dungeon Master and the Eliminators. Then Ejecta. Another double feature. This one is still sealed. This is Empire of the Ants and Jaws of Satan. I love that little run there when Scream Factory was doing a lot of Animal Attacks movies. This is the recently out of print Eve of Destruction with Gregory Hines. The Evictors. The Evil. Evil Speak, this one has gotten a little hard to find. Thankfully, 88 Films has also put it out since uh, Scream Factories is out of print. Evolution from IFC Midnight. And then Exorcism at 60,000 Feet. Look at the names there. This is a great cast. I need to watch this. This just uh, came out, I believe, in 2019. I love how I'm saying just came out in 2019 like that wasn't uh, started in two and a half years ago. All right, we're on the next shelf. This is Eliminators of the Year 3000. Then Eye of the Cat. Next up is the recently released Eyes of a Stranger. Then The Fan. Fangs of the Living Dead. Fear No Evil. Man, a lot of those in a row are sealed. I really need to start being able to watch some more of these. Can my kids grow up yet? Fear in the Night. Final Exam. That's a great one. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that one. Next up is the classic The Final Program. And then The Final Terror. Another good double feature. This is The Food of the Gods and Frogs. The Four Skulls of Jonathan Drake. This is another one that went for insanely cheap on Hamilton Book. 
you're not shopping there, you should. I've got a video linked for Hamilton Books. Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. Frankenstein, the true story. You know, I wish this one had gotten a collector's edition. It is a new 2K scan. There's not a lot of extras, but that could have been a great release. Next up is Fright. Every time I see this cover, it feels like that's Jennifer Lawrence to me. All right, now a special one for me. I have From a Whisper to a Scream autographed by the director. And I love Vincent Price, so I had to do that one. Full Moon High. Supposed to be a funny movie. Need to watch that. Next is The Fun House Massacre. I don't remember much about this one. I know Robert England's in it, but I don't remember it being that great, to be honest. Games. The Gate 2. Uh, the first Gate movie is out on Vestron Video. Next is Ghost House and the Witchery. Ghost House is, I believe, a part of the La Casa series, which is an Evil Dead rip-off continuation. Ghost Story with Fred Astaire. And then Ghost Town, the movie that is mostly known for that cover art. Alright, I'm going to make like the Muppets and try to move it right along. Here's a double feature on the Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2. I really wish we can get the entire series of this on blue with some new scans. That'd make for a decent box set, I think. Next is Grave of the Vampire. Then we have Graveyard Shift. That's from Stephen King. I watched that recently because I watched it when I was younger and didn't remember a whole lot about it. I gotta be honest, that one didn't hold up that great. The Guardian from William Friedkin, director of The Exorcist. Gun Woman. The Hand. That's a very recent release. Then we have He Knows You're Alone. Another recent release. And Hellhole. This is an odd one. This is Hemlock Grove Season 1. I wish they would have put them all out. Also, this was originally advertised with a slipcover uh, in their promotional materials, but never actually had one. They put out the entire first season on Blu-ray. It's nice. They've only done that for one other show, I believe. We'll get into that in the slipcovers. The Hills Run Red. I saw this for the first time right after it came out on Blue. i got to be honest, pretty good. Pretty unique story. Lots of fun to watch. Wife loved it, too. Horror of Frankenstein. The Horror Show, this is one of the House sequels. The Housemaid, I need to watch this one, I've only heard great things about it. Then we have The House That Dripped Blood. The House That Screamed. Double feature of The House Where Evil Dwells and Ghost Warrior. The Much Maligned sequel, Howling 2. Sure would be nice to get all of those in a box set as well, considering there's God knows how many of them now. What, six? But we do have two and three here in the non-special editions, and of course we'll get into part one later. This is How to Make a Monster. This was delayed once or twice. Nice to finally have that in hand. Then we have the Human Centipede 3. Joy. I don't remember if I've seen the third one yet. I really need to watch all three of them again. Next is I Am Not a Serial Killer. This is interesting primarily because it has Christopher Lloyd in it. Doc Brown himself. Then I Bury the Living. And the last, and this one is a great one to end on on this row, I Madman. This is a trippy movie. If you've never seen I Madman, you certainly should. And if you look at this, this is a pretty loaded standard release. Um, I, I don't know why they didn't call it a collector's edition. It could be because it's not a new scan, but uh, it is it is a surprisingly good movie. I think everybody should have this one in their collection if you're not going to go for all of them, which you'd have to be a madman to try to, but this is a great release. All right, moving the camera down again so I can see the next row. First up is The Incredible Melting Man. This is a fairly famous one in the Scream catalog. Then we have Norman J. Warren's Inseminoid. Have that in the indicator box set as well, I believe. Then we have Intruder. 
then the now out of print and very hard to find Invaders from Mars. This is a cult classic. I, I really wish they'd made this a collector's edition, but there must have been some reason they couldn't. And now we have Invasion of the Bee Girls. I Remember You, one of the IFC Midnight releases. I Saw What You Did with Joan Crawford. The Island, once again, great cover art there. Then Island of Terror, and of course it's in color. Love that they need to specify that. Next is I Trapped the Devil. This is an IFC Midnight release that is, it's not bad. Um, I watched this movie with my wife and it was a decent slow burn horror movie. I, I think you'd probably enjoy it. Uh, Jack's Back with James Spader, absolute classic. Killing Ground. The now out of print ghost story Lady in White. The Leech Woman. The Legacy. I believe that one is out on Indicator now as well. The Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. The Legend of Hell House. Kind of surprised they haven't released more titles called The Legend of Something. The Leopard Man. Let's Be Evil. This was one of the later releases I picked up as well. This is a classic 70s horror, Let's Scare Jessica to Death. A lot of people genuinely believe that's the scariest horror film they've ever seen. Next is Leviathan. My wife and I, for some reason, have watched a lot of underwater horror this year, and this is on our list to watch recently. Hopefully we can get that done soon. Next up is one of the releases they've put out of Life Force. And last on this shelf is The Lost Continent. And moving into the next one, one of the double features, Love at First Bite and Once Bitten, Lust for a Vampire. That one seems to always be out of stock. I am genuinely shocked I found that eventually. The Man from Planet X. The classic, The Mangler. I believe this is a... Uh, Stephen King story. Oh, yep, it's up there. Um, Robert England's in this, directed by Toby Hooper. It is about uh, laundry equipment that attacks people. This is The Manitou. Great movie with Tony Curtis. Man's Best Friend. And The Manster. Half Man, Half Monster. This is the standalone Vincent Price release of The Mask of the Red Death. That was in one of his box sets as well. The John Carpenter Memoirs of an Invisible Man with Chevy Chase and Daryl Hannah. I'll say right now, not one of his great movies. But I'm glad we have it out on blue. Next is the pretty rare Message from Space. This was a site exclusive. Uh, only sold a thousand copies of it and now it goes for way too much on the secondhand market. This is Metal Storm. Another double feature in Metamorphosis and Beyond Darkness. Uh, Beyond Darkness is actually directed by Claudio Fragasso, the guy behind Troll 2 and a whole bunch of classic movies uh, that Severin's putting out consistently, actually. Next is Midnighters. And Millennium and Rotor. Next up is The Mole People. Then George A. Romero's Monkey Shines. Most people have seen that one, but if not, you absolutely should. Then um, The Monolith Monsters. Monster on the Campus. The Mummy Shroud. This is another double feature. This is Munchies and Munchie. I believe there's one or two more of these as well it would be nice to get. A fairly recent release, this is Monster Go Home. This one surprised the hell out of me that they put it out. I'm glad they were able to get it though. Murders in the Rue Morgue, this is a standalone release. I believe that one was in one of the Universal Horror sets. Don't quote me there, I could be wrong. Uh, oh, no, it was in this one. Hello. Murders in the Rue Morgue and the Dunwich Horror. That's what it was. 
Either way, it was a double dip for Scream, which they are apt to do on some of them. And let's continue on. That was finishing up one of the shelves. Next is the Naked Cage. Then a double feature of Naked Vengeance and Vendetta. One that I really need to watch, and that's The Nest. This is supposed to be great. This one is out on 88 Films as well, and this one's out of print. This is New Year's Evil. Then we have Nightmare at Noon with Wings Hauser. Then we have Nightmares. Night of the Lepus. Night of the Seagulls. This is one of the Tombs of the Blind Dead movies. I've got that on DVD from Blue Underground, I believe. Night of the Sorcerers and the Lorelei's Grasp double feature. William Castle's The Night Walker. Ninja 3, The Domination. This was also released as a collector's edition, so we won't spend as much time on that one. Then we have Nomads. Nosferatu, the Werner Herzog version. Then we have Of Unknown Origin with Peter Weller. And then the finally released Orca the Killer Whale. I was so glad when they finally put that out. Then we have Our House. That is an IFC Midnight release. And then The Outing and The Godsend. Then The Pack. Another IFC Midnight release. Phantom of the Opera with Robert England. Piranha 2, The Spawning. This one is also recently out on 88 Films, I believe. The Plague of the Zombies. Love that cover art. Pledge. This one got some negative reviews, but I've actually been really interested in watching it. I've heard from the people that I trust, I've heard that this is pretty great. And then last on the shelf is the Poughkeepsie Tapes. This is sort of an infamous movie. If you've never seen it, you should watch it. A lot of people say... It's the scariest movie they've ever seen. Other people come out and rebuff them and say, it wasn't scary at all. What in the hell are you talking about? You should give it a watch, though. All right, this is going to be the last shelf of this part of our series. Not over with yet, but uh, this is going to be the last one. This is The Projected Man. Then Prophecy. Psycho with... Your man, Vince Vaughn. Then we have Psycho 4 with Anthony Perkins. And then the other sequel, Pumpkinhead 2, right next to each other. Interesting. Then Coitermass and the Pits. I really need to watch that series. I hear all of the Coitermass movies are very different. Here is Coitermass 2. But I hear that even though they're all different, they're great. Here is A Quiet Place in the Country, Mr. Redgrave, then Rabid Dogs, IFC Midnight release, Rasputin the Mad Monk, I love that art. Some of these I wish they would have made collector's editions just to get the poster. Ravenous, this is a, this is a fantastic movie. If you have not seen it, you absolutely need to be watching Ravenous. It is a fairly modern horror that really goes all out and it, it is great it's from uh, 1999 then we have the scream factory release of raw i have seen this i think twice before they released it so that's why mine is sealed but it's great the reptile the resurrected another one i got from vintage stock i believe then uh, the return of count yorga the Return of the Vampire with Bella Lugosi. Road Games. This is a weird IFC Midnight release that was fairly difficult to track down. If you can find it, find it. It's got Barbara Crampton in it. Robot Jocks from Stuart Gordon. A classic. And then Rockula. We have another IFC Midnight. That's Sacrifice. 
Saturday the 14th, the great way to follow up the Friday the 13th box set. Saturn 3. And finally in this row is a double feature of Scanners 2 and Scanners 3, The Takeover. This is a great double feature to have, especially with right now uh, Vinegar Syndrome releasing Scanner Cop and Scanner Cop 2 on 4K UHD. And with Scanners 2 and 3, I am officially going to call it a night. So thank you for hanging out. Thanks for watching. We have quite a few people that have subscribed in the last week. Thank you for that support. I'm not going to ask for you to subscribe. I'm not going to ask for a like, but if you can, that would be great. Um, I appreciate all of you guys hanging out and making a little community. I am probably going to be starting some live videos soon. If you'd like to see those, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you, what you want to see. I don't necessarily want to do the same as everybody else and just talk about new releases unless that's what you want to talk about. Uh, I've got quite a lot I can discuss here throughout my collection, so let me know if you'd like to see some live videos. All that being said, this is from one collector to all of you, signing out for the night. So have a good night. Thank you.